this outlet is the one that we're going to run to. It's not a long distance. It's, our cable should be going straight up the wall into the roof space. I don't know which one of these circuit breakers is for that power point that we're going to attach. So I'm just going to do it the easy way. Hit the RCD because this particular RCD turns off all the power circuits by the look of it. Uh, as far as I can tell, that's all the power. I'm going to turn them off just for the fun of it. We'll get this plate off. And we'll pull our outlet off. Not that. One of the reasons I like to hit these is because they generally just snap off. Sometimes they're painted in. You can see this is slightly attached here. It might pay to uh, just scrape up the side here so that we don't um, rip the paint off the wall. As it turns out, I've got two cables. That's disappointing because I don't know which one's which. <laughs> anyway. I'm still not absolutely sure that this is dead either. So, one of my favourite tricks here is I've forgotten my test lamps. So I don't really have a lot of options. I might just undo the earth wire. And go from... Attach the earth to the neutral, nothing happens. Attach the earth to the active, nothing happens. I'm convinced that's dead. It's one of the final checks that I like to do on almost anything. Even if I had tested that with test lamps, I would still short neutral to, uh, neutral to earth, active to earth, just to be sure. When I put my hand in here, I can tell that whoever ran these cables has clip them to the wall so they don't disappear which is going to make my life just a little bit more difficult but we should be able to deal with that and again a good sharp wrap should detach it from the clip which it has I wasn't expecting to find two cables here. I could only see one in the roof and I'm going to pull that up through the wall. What I don't want to do is attach my tongue to the wrong cable. So I seriously don't know which one's which. So I'm just going to attach my tongue to one of the cables so it should come up easily and the other cable I'll strap off so that I can't pull it. So that if I can't pull the cable I know I've got the wrong one. And I'll just change them over. Alright, that way if I pull the wrong cable, the outlet will be trapped. If I've got the right cable, my tongue will come up the wall. So I'm pretty sure that this is the right cable and I can pull it so it's obviously not attached to the outlet I've got lucky we'll take this cable on here Making sure that I leave a little bit here so that I can rip it off. <coughs> Hold it. Stop. What about the other one? What other one? The other cable. The feed that you pulled up. <laughs> uh, outtake number two. I'm attaching this other cable onto... The, this is the old cable. Attaching it onto the new cable. And as you can see, I've made the new cable slightly longer. <clears throat> that means I'll definitely have my new cable 
if the old one comes through and I know the old one is long enough. Next I'm going to lay these cables out on the roof to make sure that they go down easily and don't fail on anything. We're going to pull our tongue back down the wall and hopefully it'll have two cables attached to it. Look at that, two cables. Now stripping two, um, twisting two wires together is easy. Stripping three wires a little bit more tricky but not too difficult. <clears throat> when I do this I want to lay them up pretty much the same way they're going on here. So I've got red, uh, grello and black. So it would be nice if I had red on that side right from the get-go. So we'll start with two of them. Just twist those. Now I've twisted them loosely. I'm going to bring the other one up, line up those um, insulations and twist that in with the others and just nip that up. As I twist that I'm pulling at the same time. I don't want it to bulk up too much. Same again, twist them together, pull in the other one, line it up, run it around the same course, and nip it by twisting. Line it up. Now I've got three nicely lined up cables, trim them off. Just a little bit to take those edges off where I cut it. And we're ready to rock and roll. Another thing I like to do, you'll notice I'm using a cordless drill to do this. Partly because I'm lazy and partly because I can set the torque to whatever I want. I've set the tent, doesn't really mean much. Slip them in and away we go. I think I've bruised those a little bit, but I'm just checking with my screwdriver, they are tight. Beautiful. Just double check, red, grello, black, they're in the correct place. That looks like where it was before. Okay, so we're coming back to turn the power on. Power one, remember I didn't know which one was which. RCD, what's that? West power, I didn't see that there before and that's tripped. Uh, this is why we short neutral and earth together and then active and neutral. It turns out I hadn't turned the power off. That final check is what stopped me from getting shocked because this particular RCD turns off all the power circuits by the look of it.